you know, most parents would agree that we live in a time when raising kids is harder than ever. The reality is that thousands of parents are now finding themselves without jobs. For many, their homes are in foreclosure, they're living on tighter budgets, some unable to provide financially for real family needs. In today's Parenting Pointers, Peggy Sapp from Inform Families tells us how to deal with this kind of serious stress in a positive way to remain better parents. Hi, Peggy. Hey, good morning. Uh, I think those are stressful times, stressful situations, and the first thing is learning to simplify. Because, you know, I think we've been in a society, we've been go, 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 and get this, and get this, and do the other thing, and all of a sudden, we find ourselves at this point not being able to do that, and so it's a time to simplify and really think, what are my values, and what are the values I want to share with my children? The other thing while you're doing that is I would advise parents to get into a parent peer group and we run those at informed families because you surely need someone to talk with it's a support group that's exactly it friends and sometimes i think we've been so busy with our careers that we just haven't had friends so a parent peer group is a great one peggy in in general situations not necessarily all the way up to and including job loss but how honest with your kids should you be and how age dependent is that well, I think it's very age dependent, and I find that parents don't understand that. You tell different children different bits of information according to their their development, and you get kids involved. Teenagers really are capable of doing a whole lot of things, and so if we get them involved in the community and get them involved in activities, that's very healthy for teenagers. And so that's a big part of prevention for us. We're a prevention organization, and so we want to get kids involved in activities and things. But if, if a, a child or children have reached the teenage years and a parent loses a job, you would advise total honesty? I would total honesty. Total honesty. But you know, there's something about total honesty that doesn't mean you have to show all of your fears and your anger. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm saying I think the parent peer group is very important because how you deliver the message is as important as what the message is. So the parent needs to be calm when they're delivering the message and also be able to tell the child they're not angry with them. Sometimes, you know, when we're frightened or things are going on in our life, we act angry, but we're not angry with the person we're talking. So, so so you explain to the child that while, while daddy may seem like he's angry at you, he's really angry. The children understand that and they get that. And then trying to find a way to get the child involved in some other activities. How do you successfully ask a child to cut back? To cut back? I think that that's when you're talking about the simplify. And when you do that, and you just had a great interview about Hollywood and free beaches and free activities, do it by role modeling. Mm-hmm. You know, you don't have to go to the movies and spend $75 on popcorn. You can go to the beach and do something free. So I think role modeling and doing those things with children are far more effective than just lecturing, and talking. How, how important are finding moments for happiness and fun during these terrible times? Oh, very important. If you eat dinner with your children four times a week, and I'm talking about really sitting down and look with, uh, looking at them, talking with them, their chances of growing up healthy, happy, and drug-free, oh, mm-hmm. they ex- increase exponentially. Peggy Sapp, thank you so much for being with us. Great thank seeing you. you again. For more information on Informed Families, there's the number. Or it's coming up right there, 305-856-4886, or log on to informedfamilies.org.